everyone, but it's for yeah. most. And I think one of the things uh, we've met with the Marner family and talked to them in the last few days, they want, they are hoping that he might oh, be yeah. drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're excited to think he could be that kind of a, a player for the Leafs. You know what I love in that first round against Kitchener? He went to Dale Hunter and said, you know what, I want to play center here. He was playing on the wing and he said, just to try and mix things up and give my team a better chance, make it harder to match up against. Hey Colin, this is former Maple Leafs defenseman Frank Corrado. And uh, I hear it's your birthday on the 24th, and um, you guys will be having an NHL draft birthday party. And there's something I want to tell you uh, for your birthday. Uh, in the first round, the Maple Leafs select Colin Eamon. And I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're able to watch the Leaf game, and, uh, and hope they can keep winning some games here. Uh, all the best to you. Have a great birthday and uh, good luck. I hear you're going to be starting uh, playing hockey. And so best of luck. Work hard. Have fun and enjoy it. Take care. Game friend. But this is a really, and we talked about this, this is going to be a window into what's going on in the Toronto organization. Yeah. This is clearly Mark Hunter's pick. Yes, uh, and I couldn't agree more. You look at when he was drafted in the Ontario Hockey League in 2013. He went 19th overall to London that year. He was 5'7", 130 pounds. So he has grown some since. You look at his parents. Is there a huge upside? Is this guy going to be a 6'2 player? No, but he's absolutely dynamic. He edges extremely well, and he can handle the puck at high speeds. It'll be fascinating just to see how he develops. And that's how he'll get space for himself in the NHL. With that speed and with those hands, you have a little bit of respect. Guys will back off and you give him any kind of space. He makes some pretty good things happen. It's no secret his dad pushed him. He was on skates at, uh, at two. Started focusing on skills at four. You know, he's very superstitious as well, guys. Nobody touches his sticks except him and his trainer. And before every game, here's some hard-hitting journalism. While the guys are drinking protein shakes and energy drinks, before every game, he eats a bag of Skittles. <laughs> Johnny well, Goudreau, it, right? It His dad through. threw Skittles on the ice, and, and Johnny had <laughs> learned to skate trying to track them down. Marshawn Lynch. Skittles yeah. are obviously the uh, food of champions. Curtis Lazar to come in and eat them all up. <laughs> <laughs> obviously pointing to his family uh, with Mike Babcock. Interesting that Brendan Shanahan didn't go up to the, to the stage for this pick. Oh, I that think was up I, on his management group. And I think he's tried very hard to, yeah. put, to push the other guys and let them take... Uh, the, the spotlight at this draft and in the part of the offseason. A lot of symbolism there, and, that, and there's no question that Mark Hunter has now put his fingerprint all over this hockey club. And we talked earlier in the show about all the voices that would be there. You know, you look at Lindsey Hofford, you look at Kyle Dubas, of course Shanahan, Mike Babcock has got that type A personality. You know he's going to have something to say. And so when you look at the Toronto Maple Leafs now, Mark Hunter has definitely put his fingerprint on it. Mike Babcock down there, Paul and Bonnie with Mitch Marner's parents saying, hey, I got your boy, I'll take good care of him. <laughs> That's one heck of a road hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to be trying to sign their kids up for that thing when you go on back-to-back uh, -back like that. George. All right, thank you very much. Here we are. We're member of the Toronto Maple Leafs organization now, Mitch Marner. How does that feel, especially as a Toronto boy? Yeah, uh, you know, it's no really way to put it. Speechless. Happy to be part of the organization. I can't wait to start. You know, so much of this conversation in this draft had been around the top two and maybe three guys that were going to go, and they generally knew where they were going to go. Did you know where you were going? Uh, no. You know, they kind of kept it quiet on us, and... I try to talk to him every day, ask him what he's thinking, but we weren't getting too much out of it, and you know everything panned out, and you know I think uh, we're both happy where we went. So in that moment when the name was announced and it was from Mark Hunter, as a guy that you know, what was that like? Uh, I think my heart was beating too fast, but <laughs> it was speechless. You know, it was an awesome moment. He called my name in the OHL draft, and you know I never thought he would call my name in the NHL draft, but it's exciting and it's a fun time. And what about playing at home? I know Thornhill, so but Thornhill people might say no, we're a separate place, but what's it going to be like to be part of th that city? I don't think there's any way to put it. You know, I wanted to play with this team my whole life. I've grown up watching this team, and, uh, you know, it's just speechless that, that I'm here now, and you know, I get a chance to wear this Maple Leaf. What a, what a pleasure. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Mitch Thank Marner. You. Back to you, gentlemen.